Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll start a new chapter and the chapter's name is probability. Now you people are quite familiar with this chapter because you have already done simple problems on probability in your earlier class that is in your class 7. Okay, so the, so the formula that we are going to use in this particular chapter is given here. Okay, so you may pause the video to note down the formula. So formula says probability of occurrence of an event okay so probability means it's a chance okay it's a chance and this particular thing is most often used in gambling right so probability of occurrence of an event so event means what do you want to have that means it's your desire so it will be given by total number of favorable outcomes whole divided by total number of possible outcomes so this is the formula so how to apply the formula we'll see through the very simple problem that is question number one so it is given that a die is thrown okay so you need to find the probability of getting number one a prime number number two getting a number greater than four and number three is a number not greater than four so there are three parts here so let's try to understand what is happening here so first thing is a die is thrown so after throwing what are the possibilities that you may you may see so the possibilities will be either you'll get one or two or three four five six right but you won't get a number greater than six okay so a die has six numbers right so how many outcomes are there so there are if you count there are one two three four five and six so there are six outcomes so that's why total number of possible outcomes will be equals to six here is that clear now let us go to the first part so the first part says getting a prime number and what are the prime numbers out of these numbers the prime numbers are i'm sorry this is not one this has to be two so the prime numbers here are two three and five okay so this is two now that means what is the favorable number of outcomes so the favorable number of outcomes is one two and three so there are three prime numbers out of these six so that's why favorable number of outcomes is six is that clear and probability of getting a prime number so according to the formula it is number of favorable outcomes divided by number of all possible outcomes and what is the number of favorable outcomes it is three right divided by what is total number of outcome total number of outcome is six so it is three by six which is nothing but half okay so let's go to the second question so in second question we have to get a number greater than four so the numbers which are greater than four are five and six out of these six okay so that's why number of favorable outcome here is two is that clear okay now our aim is to find the probability of getting a number greater than four right so probability of number probability of getting a number greater than four will be equals to again the formula is this one what is the number of favorable outcome here it is two and what is number of possible outcomes it is six so my answer will be two by six which is nothing but one by three so this is my second answer now let's go to the third question that is getting a number not greater than four okay so numbers which are not greater than four not greater than four means one two and three right so these are the three numbers which are not greater than four out of these six so how many numbers are there which are not greater than four it is three numbers right so the number of favorable outcomes is three here again the probability of getting a number not greater than 4 means what? Not greater than 4 means less than 4. So this will be equals to number of favorable outcomes divided by number of all possible outcomes. So number of favorable outcome is 6, 3 and number of possible outcomes is 6. So 3 by 6 is nothing but half. So you may pause the video to note down. Now let's go to question number 3. So question number 2 please try by yourself. Okay, so question says a coin is tossed two times okay so twice means two times find the probability of getting there are uh, four parts here so number one is exactly one head number two exactly one tail number three two tails and number four two 
heads so out of these four i am just going to show you two questions two questions you will try by yourself is that clear okay so let's see the possible outcomes here are see when you're tossing a coin two times so you may see in both the tosses heads heads right or you may see in the first you may see head and in another one you may see tails so the other possibility is you may see tail first and you may see heads or else the other pro possibility is getting both tails is that clear okay now in our this case okay so these are the possible outcomes so that's why total number of possible outcomes is how many this is one two three and four okay so total number of possible outcome is four here right so let's go to the first one that is getting exactly one head now if you see here you see that you will get exactly one head in this case and this case here you are getting two tails right but we are interested with uh, here you are getting two heads but we are interested in getting only exactly one head right so exactly one heads appear in these two okay that is th and ht so that's why my number of favorable outcome here is two is that clear okay now probability of getting exactly one head will begin by now we know that number of favorable outcome here is 2 and what is total number of possible outcome it is 4 so that's why my answer will be 2 by 4 which is nothing but 1 by 2 so this is my question number 1 now let me take question number 3 so in question number 3 it is said that we need to get two tails now out of these we are getting two tails only in this one right so getting two tails means that is getting t and t is that clear okay that means the possible number of favorable outcome is how much it is only one right so out of these four only in one case we are getting two tails so that's why the possible number of favorable outcome is one here so that's why the probability of getting two tails will be one by four because number of favorable outcome is one divided by the total number of possible outcome is how much it is four so that's why my answer for this particular question is one by four now there are two parts left here that is question number two and question number four now you will try these two questions by yourself let's move on to the next question so question says a letter is chosen from the word pencil right so there's a word pencil and a letter is chosen randomly from it okay so it can be either p or it can be e it can be n it can be c it can be i or it can be l so it is chosen randomly okay now the question says what is the probability that the letter chosen is a consonant now i think you people are familiar with consonant and vowels right so in english alphabet the vowels are a e i o u and the letters other than these five letters are known as consonant okay now from the word pencil the consonants okay so there are six letters in the word pencil right so total number of consonants so out of uh, these letters there are only four consonants and those consonants are p n c and l okay so these are the four letters which are consonant in the word pencil is that clear so the probability of choosing a consonant will be given by total number of consonant will divide by total number of letters in the word pencil so it is four by six right so number of total total number of consonants is four and total number of letters is six so it is four by six which is nothing but two by three so you may pause the video to note down now you will try this sum by yourself okay so i'm not going to explain anything because the question is straightforward here let's move on to the next question so question says again it's uh, about a die which we have already seen in the first question itself right so i'll just show you one part from here that is part two and part one and part three you will try by yourself is that clear okay now in a single throw of a die what is the probability of getting a number number two that is less than or equal to two okay so as usual you know that right so number of possible outcome will be six right so since we are talking about 
to the numbers less than or equal to 2 are out of these 6 the numbers which are less than or equal to 2 are 1 and 2 right so others are greater than 2 right okay so what is the number of favorable outcome here how many numbers are favorable here either 1 or 2 so to, together it is 2 right so together we have got 2 favorable outcomes is that clear so that's why the probability of getting a number less than or equal to will be equals to the formula is this one so number of favorable outcome is 2 and number of possible outcome is 6 so after cancellation you will get 1 by 3 so today we will see only these many questions so whatever I have I have asked you to do please do it and submit on time thank you very much